What's up, snowboarder friends? All right, so uh, no riding today. Two reasons. One, I uh, tweaked my shoulder yesterday. You look wrecked. You having a bad day? Oh god, it literally could not get any worse. Ah! Ah! Uh, riding the PVC pipe in the backyard, and the half pipe was icy because we're getting warm during the day and cold during the night. So it froze, which is great because when you hit it, you don't sink into it. But yeah, I uh, put my arm back and tweaked my shoulder a little bit. So then I went to go mess around with my bindings because I always tell you to experiment with your bindings, right? I see what works. And I wanted to go to a wider stance and a 15, negative 15 on my back foot, right? Well, as I was doing it, I found something. So I always tell you to check your bindings for loose. Well, this one is cracked. See that? That's So that goes in there. This part connects to it. It's literally two screws, two screws, and it pops out. So this one's on the, that's on the inside, this little part. See, there's the Loctite, the blue. And then uh, this comes out of the binding, and that is just sealed in there. So that being said, yeah, we're going to the house. Good thing I live 20 minutes away from the house board shop because they're one of the biggest distributors in the United States. So we're gonna go check out the house. We're gonna also see what deals they have. And uh, yeah, shoot some footage of maybe uh, walking through there, whatnot, we'll see. All right, boys and girls, here we come. So we have the house outlet store here, the first one. I'm sure they're not gonna have my part. Um, and that's where they have the bikes too. Uh, we'll do video in the summertime. And then here's the second building. It is huge. They are a huge distributor of snowboards, skis, and everything else. Such a cool place. If you're in Minnesota, come visit it. All right, let's go find a binding. All right, guys, we are in the outlet store. See, here's their, they have some of the stuff on the, a lot of the stuff is in the warehouse. Not everything's out here, but I will tell you what. Let's see what they got. 299 179 right there for a Lamar. Uh, you can find some if you're just starting snowboarding. Yeah, you can find some pretty good deals if you just look for them. Last year I found like a $99 board. That's a 329 Lamar. A bunch of Lamars here. They've got boots, they've got skis. We're gonna see if we can find some mittens. Yes! No, Dale, I have lots of work to do. Okay, so as I was saying, there's always a diamond in the rough. Um, this one looks to either be $99 or $59 for a starter snowboard. That's, if you're starting, that's pretty cheap. Let's see what else we can find in here. Always some kind of deal. Yep, there's another $99 board. $159, this one's a $151. $79. I mean, who cares? If you're going to wreck the board, if you're getting... If you're new to snowboarding, what the hell? Buy a cheap board. Learn how to do rails. $79 board. They're not the best boards, but a board's a board, right? If you're going to go through one, might as well go through one for cheap. We'll look at it at the time. I'm not All right, snowboarders, so that completes our visit to the house. We got what we needed, and we didn't buy anything extra that we didn't need. So, uh, but highly recommend it if you're shopping. Uh, they got great advice here. Uh, they do great YouTube videos. I support local shop, and uh, yeah, we'll go back now and put this binding back together. All right, everyone, so we just got back from the sh house, snowboard shop, and bike and ski or whatever, right? And we got replacement, right? So see, that one's donezo. We got two. So we're gonna do a video on what you should carry, um, like a snowboard tool kit, right? So, because you need two different size screwdrivers, you need probably some extra screws would help just in case you lose one. All right, so let's put this back together. So you see, so I can see where my, if you forgot what hole it is, you can look for wear marks. So there's wear marks in it. I'm gonna put the binding forward. 
We're gonna put the four tab thing. It just slides in there, but you gotta make sure you line it up. All right, and then the little screw is the one you want for this. Would have been great if I would have done a video on how to take this part, huh? But putting it back together, just reverse these steps. How tight you want that? That's a good question. My kids are pretty tight, and I don't know if I want it that tight for them. All right, so now we've got to figure out where was it on this. And I can see that it was on the second to last hole. So that gives me a reference point, slides this in, or just take notes. That'd be a better idea than having to look where wear marks was. Now, this screw's a little bit bigger at the neck of it. So that's, if you forget which one goes where. And this is also how you adjust the binding for your boot. If you wanna adjust it so that it this part of it sits more squarely, if it's not, if you have a smaller foot, it'll be in further. If you want it, if you have a bigger boot like me, 13, it's gonna be out further. Eh, tight, but not too tight. I didn't want to twist that, but too late. All right, so now I gotta put the, the uh, bolts back in because I changed my stance again. Maybe I should change this channel to stance changer, huh? Snowboard stance with changer. So I went to a negative 15 on the back to see if it's more stable. And uh, I'm also a lot further apart than what I was. I should have marked it, but I think I'm at the last binding hole. So we are at, go from the center. I'm at 23 and a half. And I think I was at 22. And I also, ooh. All right, so I also lied to you. Uh, I said it, I was wrong, and I apologize. Didn't mean to, but I'm gonna go ride this right now. Let's go see how a 20 wider stance and angled out, if I fall down or what happens. So summarize this. Sorry, I gotta go get the trash cans. Even I have chores. So yeah, binding angles much better. I'm gonna have to get used to doing this or learn how to ride again. But yeah, I would take it from if you want to get more duck stance, slowly move out a degree every day or every week, and you'll get there. I felt my backwards riding was way better. Um, back, or sorry, my switch riding was way better, and overall, it was a more balanced feel. Uh, so yeah. All right, we'll catch you in the next video.